Hi. Hi, hi Julio. Hi, hi, Eric. Hi, guys. Hi, How are you? Nice to see you. ¿Qué me les pasó? It was Monday, ¿verdad? Yeah? <laughs> All right, that's okay. It's so nice to see you guys again. All right, Miguel Angel, good evening. Lydia, Armando, Fatima, Efraín, Amilcar, Daisy. All right, Idalia, very nice. Welcome, guys. Hey, what happened to Jonathan today? Jonathan is always in class. All right, not today. So how's everybody? All right, Efraín, how are you today? I'm okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Excellent. Very How nice. are you? How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. Just finishing one previous class. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah very nice. <laughs> Idalia, okay. how are you? How was your day today? Hi. Good evening, Miss. Hi. Good evening, guys. I'm good. Thank you. Good. All right. Very nice. Nice to hear. All right. Amilka, how about yourself? How are you? Everything okay? Hi. Yeah, everything is okay, and you? I'm okay, thank you, yes, very nice. All right, guys, so we are in the middle of the week already, which is Tuesday, we have two more, I mean, today's class, of course, and then two more classes, and we're done. All right, advanced is done, all right? So I do hope that you have learned something, all right, or at least you have practiced it, which is important, all right? Very good. So, guys, uh, today we're gonna talk about this here that I have for you, we're talking about clauses stating reasons and conditions. Not very complicated, actually it's not. It's just that we're using these special words, either at the beginning or somewhat in the middle of your sentence, all right? And they express something, all right? When you use it, they have, you're, you're, either, you're either expressing a reason or a condition. That's why they're named like that, okay? So I'm going to show them to you. They are pretty much what we have on the platform. They are the same. I think there's only one extra one that it can help you guys anyway. All right, so here we go. Even if, Julio, do you mind reading that chart for me, please? Even if, even if, even if, even if, emphasizes, how are you pronounce that? Emphasizes. Emphasizes, thank you. Even if, emphasizes that something will happen, will happen, or will have happened, whatever the condition. All right. Even, 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 even if we live right now, we, we still won't hit the train. Won't catch, catch the, the train. train. All right. Uh huh. So, what is the explanation? We won't catch the train no matter what we do. Yeah, no kidding. If the train was supposed to leave like two hours ago, even if we left right now, we're not going to catch it. All right? So there's no point on us doing it. All right? Can you read the other one, Julio? I wouldn't. I wouldn't go in the water even if I could swim. Right. Uh-huh. No, ma no matter what. I mm -hmm. wouldn't go into the water. Right. I wouldn't go into the water even if I could swim. Maybe the water is too cold. Maybe it's too deep. Maybe it's muddy. Maybe it's, um, there's an alligator there. I don't know. The condition is I wouldn't do it. All right. No matter what, I wouldn't. Okay. Even if. Let's read the other one here. Amilcar, considering that. Okay, uh, you use considering that to indicate that you are thinking about a particular fact when making a judgment or giving an opinion. Excellent, uh huh. Okay, considering that you are no longer involved with this man, your response is a little string. Okay, okay, uh, particular fact. You are no longer involved with the man. All right. Uh, I feel happy I passed the test considering, considering uh, I didn't study for it. Particular <laughs> okay. fact, I didn't study for the test. All right. Okay. So in this case, they are like giving you a particular fact. Okay. So on the first one, it says, considering that you're no longer involved with this man, 
your response is a little extreme, all right? What is the fact that you're no longer with that person, or in this case, with that man? I feel happy I passed the test considering I didn't study for it. So what, was the, what is the particular fact? I didn't study for the test and I passed it anyway, all right? So you can say, considering that I didn't study for the test, I got a five, but that's okay because I passed it anyway, all right? Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel. Sorry, I didn't notice I had, I had it off. <laughs> okay, all right. As long as or provided, provided that. This expression means, but only if you can use my car as long as you drive carefully. Oh, okay. But only if you drive carefully. Otherwise, I won't lend it to you, right? Yeah. Okay, I mean, the other one. I won't land it either. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Traveling by car is, in, is convenient. It's convenient. Provided, convenient, mm -hmm. provided that you have somewhere to park. Excellent, all right. Uh -huh. But only if you have somewhere to park. All right, but otherwise, really, yeah. Otherwise, it wouldn't be convenient, <laughs> right? Especially when there's like Christmas time and everybody's out and parking lots are like not available. Very good. Next one. Unless. Um, Efrain, do you want to read that one? Okay. Unless means except. If we use yes. unless to make uh, an exception to something we say. Mm -hmm. Don't tell Anne what I say unless she asks you. All right. Except. Except if, if she asks if, you. If she asks you. That's okay. right, yes. I wouldn't eat between meals unless I were extremely hungry. Okay. Except if I were extremely hungry. Right, okay, very nice. Next one, just Thank in you. case. Let's see, who wants to read that one? I want someone to read it. I'll do that. All right, thank you, Eddie. Just in case usually means that you don't expect something to happen, but if it does, it is used pre pre Primarily? Um, primarily for future events. Events, yes. Yeah. Just in case you need me, I'll be at Tom's, which means I don't, I don't expect you will need me. But in case you do, I'll be there, right? Very good. Can you read the other one? Okay. Uh-huh. I'll be studying upstairs just in case she can. She calls me. She calls me. So she said she calls. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't expect she will call. All right, all right. So, but just in case, I'm gonna be studying upstairs, all right? Let's see the other one here. Oops. Only if is the one you read? No, right? No, here. Only no. if, uh, Fatima. Okay, only if. Mm -hmm. Only if means only in the case that something happens. Example, we'll give you your bicycle only if you do well on your exam. Only in the case that you do well on your exams. On your exams, yeah. Uh -huh. Only if we train very hard, we'll be able to... To beat the pass. other, to beat the opponents. To beat the opponents. Only if the in the case we train very hard, we'll be beat them. Beat them, right? So only if, right? So if that means that just in case, in that case that that happens, then you have an outcome or you have a result here, all right? Next one, now that. Who wants to read that one? Daisy, do you mind reading it for us? Okay, now that. Used to explain a new situation. Now that I am a manager, I attend more meetings. I attend more meetings now that I am a manager. Right, very good. So that this one, the one that we're like looking at right now, it is, it is not on the platform, but as I said, we can also use this one as the, as the other ones that we were talking about. Now, do you understand the meaning of all of these ones, guys? Now that, only if, just in case, unless, as long as, provided that, considering that, even if, do you understand all of those? I think you understand the usage and the meaning of uh, when you are like saying them or making like reference to those. 
understand what they mean, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, very good. Do you have any questions about those words? No questions? Well, I think, it, it, I think it's a matter of practice. Right, yeah. All right, now, and that, with that in mind, I mean, uh, with that point that you just mentioned, um, Efrain, this is what we'll continue doing then, all right? Oh, okay. We're okay. practicing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, very good. So here you go. Um, do you mind, guys, taking a picture of this? It says, practice, complete the following so that they are true for you. Notice that we can use many of these expressions for both real and hypothetical situations. So here we're using unless, even if, now that, just in case. If you notice, guys, we can use these words either at the beginning or we may use them in the middle of our sentence because they are clauses. Now, if you use them at the, in the middle of your sentences, then you cannot use the comma. You remove the comma when you're writing. All right, so for example, here it says, at the beginning it says, unless, blah, 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 comma, I won't. On the other sentence it says, I wouldn't, blah, 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 unless, no comma, and then the rest of your sentence. So if you're using these special words, then they replace the comma for you, all right? Do you understand that point, guys? Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. So please take a picture of this one. Did you take a picture already? Yes. Okay. I'm going to show you the other one that I want you to work on, which is this one right here. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. This that one. Hold on. Yeah. It's this one. All right. I'm going to move our picture. Whoops. All right. Can you, can you guys see it? All right, so the first part of the exercise, I'm gonna send you anyway to your groups and I want you to talk about it, all right? What would my sentence be? But remember, it has to be true for you or true to you, all right? And then the second part, which is the second part, then you're going to be asking these questions to make conversation. So if I'm working with um, uh, Idalia, I'll say, okay, Idalia, under what circumstances do you think it's a good idea for a company to restrict access at work so that means no youtube no twitter no whatsapp no facebook no nothing all right under what circumstances so you say oh unless or even if or like the other ones that we were using and you go on asking like your classmates and yourselves with these questions do you understand what you're going to be doing guys you understand yeah yes all right very good yes okay so i'm gonna send you right now to your groups okay and then you may start talking remember that this is the time for you to practice your english with your other peers all right so here we go i'm gonna be checking on your groups first do the first part although that's like for you i want you to share your answers or your sentences with your partner okay There you go, guys.
Hi, Daisy. Daisy, are you there? Hi, Efrain. Efrain, can you hear me? Hi, Efrain. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm facing a problem. You know, I don't know what happens. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna resend you to another group, Efrain, because um you were supposed to be working with ah Daisy's back. All right, hold on, okay. give me a second. All right, I'm gonna send you okay. to her group. There okay. you go. Did you get the invitation? Well, I don't know what happens.
the provider have some problems, man. I have my own business place on the market, in the second floor of the market. I fix cellular phones, computer, and something like that. I have another business like a web, design, web, web page designer or webmaster. Oh, that's a good one. From an existing degree, but I'm working at home now, man. Just yeah. watching what you can do, maybe some business or something like that. Yeah. Hi guys, did you finish? Uh, you can't hear you too much because it's raining too hard. Teacher. Yeah, that's what I heard. Did you finish? Uh, the first one, only two, only two. Just in case. Okay. In case, yeah. All right, continue working then, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you Picture. Hi, Dalia. Hi, Eli. Hi. Hi. How are you girls doing? Uh, we're doing good. Excellent. I like to hear that. Which can one are you, you working? You yes. Us, uh, can you give us an example using uh, now that and not so? Uh, now that. I, I, I now that I speak English, I'm not so nervous to face an American. Okay. And <laughs> I wanted to know how to say now that I, that it's raining. Uh-huh. I'm not so, I want to say like calorosa. I'm not so like, hot. Too hot? Like yeah. that? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh, but okay. on the meaning of weather and temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Not on yeah, the other yeah. meaning. Girls. <laughs> okay, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, it's hard to it's hard yes, to talk you. to talk. Tell Matt, there is a student teaches uh, quite a few things <laughs> at mm -hmm. school. So I had to change my career at that time. So I did change my career, and uh, the only reason I did it, and the only reason I will do it again, is because I don't have the qualifications to continue with it, continue with the, the career that I was already performing in. Uh -huh. uh, another example could be, for example, uh, for example, I I study. Electricity, for example, in, in the in the high school, bachillerato. High school, yeah. Uh, I study, for example, no? I, I study electricity, but I don't like so much. And okay, can I uh, I can study another career in the university, or I study electricity, for example. High school mm -hmm. because I need I work. You needed to work. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, I need I need to work, but after some years, uh, can I uh, I can study another career in the university? I don't know. It's only an example. All right. It, which uh, which one are you working? Are you are you guys working on? Number seven, under what circumstances would you consider? Yeah, seven. I already had a, a time that I had to go with this. So I actually already know, and I'm certain of the circumstances that I will do it and did do it. <laughs> All right, so what, what was, can you read the question exactly, Miguel? Well, under what circumstances would you consider a career change? All right. Okay. That's why you were saying that you change careers and everything. Yep. Uh -huh. ah. yeah. So what, and that's real. I mean, that's true, Miguel. Yep. All right. So what, what happened? <laughs> well, while I did, well, I had a uh, easy time in, with programming and the stuff in, 
computer science engineering, but okay. I wasn't, I hadn't been taught math the right way. Okay. And so, because that career is about 70% math. Oh my, okay. <laughs> I really was forced to quit, to quit so I, I did it under that terms, under those circumstances. circumstances. Right. And uh, I would only do it again under the same circumstances. Right, okay. Okay. So what did you change to? English. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I had to quit too. <laughs> Why? In, this, in that case, because I had I was forced to leave leave the place because well security was going All right. right. Okay. Yeah. So but so, you did study English at university then, Miguel Angel. Yeah. All right. No, I didn't complete the career, but I did study to to a level. Right, okay, all right. And here in San Salvador, no? No, in Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Ah. Very good. Interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. All right. <coughs> okay, very good. So continue working. I'm going to go check on other groups, okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Um, Accept a promo. I accept a job in another country. Uh, if I have a good money and if I like the country, the customs, the food time, if I know the language, I consider that that can be the reason to accept a job. And you? Um. If I know so good the language, and if I going to to have a good as we
Hi, Efrain. Hi, Efrain. Yes, yes, I can hear you, but I'm facing, I'm facing problems right now, maybe because here it's raining a lot. Yeah, that's what I heard. It's raining over there, right? Yes, yes. Nice. Yeah, maybe that's why, because uh, some of your classmates were having the same problem. Yeah, yeah. All right, don't worry. Cool. We're coming back anyway pretty soon, like one more minute, and then okay. I'm coming okay. with everybody back. Okay, okay. thanks. Thanks, Rob. Do you want me to send you back with Daisy just like for one more minute or you were finished? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's it's really hard to to listen to her because so the same thing. Yeah, you know? she yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, Armando. Hi, Eric. Are you finished? What? Are you finished? Yes, yeah, we have finished. Ah, I okay. want to ask you some one uh -huh. question. Yes. This week it will be the end of the program, the English program. Uh, yeah, for the uh, advanced module. I mean, yeah, for this course, yes, on Thursday. So what's uh, next, teacher? You're for us. To, uh, you're supposed to get some paperwork so you can enroll for the next course. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I don't the know. Next it, course, you uh -huh. will be the teacher. I'm not sure. Yay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I will if I'm gonna continue uh, with you guys because usually what they do is like they rotate. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. But yeah, you're Got supposed it. to so like, yeah. On Monday, we have classes. No, no, I think you, no, usually you have a break between courses. All right. So you're not going to be in next week. I think you would like pause it for a little while, like a week or so, and then you will continue again. Okay. But next week is, okay. it's, it's free. <laughs> All right. Is okay. it raining over there, guys? Erika and Armando, is it raining by your yeah. house? Yeah. Yes. You're All right. here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Interesting. All right. So we're coming back right now so we can talk a little bit about it together, guys. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hi, everyone. All right, I hear that it's raining like cats and dogs by your house and then like by your places and everything. All right, okay, so we have like a couple of more minutes here. Let's talk about it together, guys, if you don't mind. All right, let's see. Oh, let me see this one. All right, uh, Miguel, under what circumstances is it okay? To get paid under the table. Be honest. Uh, <laughs> well, I have seen an example in my family. Okay. Something like that. Uh -huh. None of them are accepting, because, but uh, the things that ha can happen if you don't accept it. Ah, okay. And oh my the, goodness. Well, I would if the country situation is well not the best right so say the the last civil war that we have right yeah and if there were there were those circumstances and i will say be branded uh there were chances that i will be branded as a revolutionary uh -huh. and so there were chances that i then they will even send people to execute me and mm -hmm. the likes Okay. I will accept this. All right. <laughs> under those circumstances. Okay. Ah, oh, interesting. Very good. Okay. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to ask one of the girls. Um, Lydia, can you hear us, Lydia? 
Yes, I can hear you. Excellent. All right, Lydia, under what circumstances would you accept a promotion without a raise? Can you repeat, please? Yes. Because I can hear you. Right. Uh, we're doing number five. Under what circumstances would you accept a promotion without a raise? I consider that I will accept a promotion if gonna bring me new new things to okay. learn or something like that or something that I would like to do. Okay. Can be. All right, very good. Thank you, Lydia. That was nice. Armando. Let's see. Under what circumstances would you consider a career change? Which number of questions, teacher? It is number seven, Armando. Oh, okay. I think that is if I don't feel during my career, or if I'm looking that the people that have started my career aren't getting money or they mm. have not good good circumstance of in this in the okay. country. Okay, all right, very good, interesting. Fatima, can you hear us? Yes, a little bit. All right, very good. Uh, Fatima, under what circumstances would you quit your current job? Um, I consider that I quit only if I have problems with my actual employees. All right. Or if, uh, no, or just in case like I have problems or I wouldn't pay so good that I deserve. Okay. Oh, right. Very good. Interesting. All right. Um, thank you. Julio, can you hear us, Julio? Yeah, very good. Okay, Julio, under what circumstances would you retire at age 50? Uh, when I was finishing my work time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good, interesting. Let's see, Amilcar, under what circumstances would you move to another country? My case, uh, if I I have to to obtain a a great uh, I don't know a great what can I say. Lifestyle, maybe? Yeah, lifestyle. Yeah, okay. of course. Okay. All right, interesting. All right, let's see here. Who else can I ask? Um, Efrain, can you hear me, Efrain? Yeah, a little bit. I can. Okay, very good. Okay. Um, what about you, Efrain? Under what circumstances would you move to another country? What well, was the case today? See, there is a fancy. We have problems here in Sabo. In mm -hmm. our country, we have several problems. For instance, right. we have economic problems, mm -hmm. uh, political problems, and social right. problems. Right. So, if I have, for instance, if I was, if I were uh, persecuted, for instance, right, I will think about leaving El Salvador because okay. it means uh, some danger to me right. and to my family also. Right. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Very good. What about you, Eric? Under what circumstances would you move to another country? It's a little bit cheesy, but I can say for love. <laughs> so <laughs> you can travel to another country. You can... Ah, all right, okay. Well, that's interesting. Very good. Good, good answer, Eric. Very nice. All right, guys. Very good. So, just reminding you that this week is the last week of the course. All right. Tomorrow we have regular classes, and as well as Thursday. All right. So um, tomorrow we'll do some like topics, like conversational topics and stuff, okay? And then Thursday we're gonna check uh, some things on the uh, platform anyway, all right?
So guys, I need to go. I have the other class. Thank you so much for being with me. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.